that's not occurring. Thank you for your time. No, oh, and uh, thank you for that great question or double questions there. I, um, you know, every with every new disease that's discovered, the first thought that goes in my head is, is this disease transmissible in the wastewater? Because it all comes to us. I've got amazing individuals day in, day out, 24 seven, working with collecting and treating that wastewater to produce clean water and valuable green resources from it. Every single, you know, when MERS, MRSA came out and, you know, anytime there's, you know, even when earlier in my career, when HIV was a concern, the first thing we do as a wastewater community is look at that question. Is it transmissible in the wastewater? So with the COVID, when this became known a couple of years, I think more than a couple of years ago now, that is the first thing the research community did. And luckily and fortunately, the presence of the RNA in wastewater in uh, shedded from individuals is there. You can, you can monitor it, you can detect it, but the transmissivity to the wastewater worker to uh, somebody who might be next to a pumping station or, or in a bathroom where, where somebody's using the bathroom, that is not transmissible. I remember early in the pandemic, there was an article that said, if somebody is, is going to the bathroom and they have COVID and you smell it, it's, that means it's in the atmosphere. That means you're gonna get sick. There was literally, I mean, it's understandable because we had a void of information. So the risk to our, our workers for public health uh, their public health, which is always a concern, number one in my mind, um, has not, it's not uh, there from the COVID transmissivity. There was another question early in the pandemic, and you just restated it to me, is like, in the, is it released into local waterways? Uh, again, um, uh, it, if it were, it's not transmissible, because again, we're looking at fragments of DNA at that point. And even more so, our wastewater treatment system I, I invite you to come visit one if you have not already. I will find the one that's, oh, you, Patagon is, is a pumping station, but I will take you to the local wastewater resource recovery facility in your neighborhood to show you what the influent looks like and show you what the effluent looks like. There's multiple steps, including, you know, uh, primary sedimentation, separation, um, a, a biologically active community that actually breaks down the wastewater. Then we have a whole solids processing component that creates a valuable um, fertilizer product. And when you look at the effluent with the final step being a disinfection, you see clean water. And it's quite amazing. And um, it is, you know, we're very proud of that. The, the level of effort it takes it is amazing. It's underappreciated. I apologize that there's an odor problem in your neighborhood. I made a note, I'm gonna send somebody out. Um, but um, uh, I, I don't, I, that is not, as you suggested, uh, that those risks have not been, uh, are not actual in the world, yeah. 